welcome to Albany. Look how beautiful it is. We are here for a few days. We arrived last night fairly late, so just crashed. This morning we've been up and got a coffee at Bread in Albany, and now we are going on. Oh no, my gimbal. Come back down, find my head. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you've got yourself off now. There oh. you go. I've got a gimbal thing, uh, which I'm not very good at using. And we are on the way to do the Bald Head Trail. And we've just stopped off at the blowholes. So it was at this point that we realised it was a mile walk each way and a passerby mentioned that the blowholes were not blowing at that point. So we turned back. Right guys, we're doing the bald head walk now. You can tell by my um, panting, we've just done the first few steps up and I'm already exhausted. 350 meters in. Jesus. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's steep, but beautiful. Uh, let me just pan around to, this is kind of the first landing bit. That beach down there is incredible. So yeah, right, let's get ahead. There's a big group of guys that we tried to um, stay ahead of, otherwise we'll end up getting stuck. Onwards and upwards. No, I'm fast. I won't let them. Zip, zap, 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 zap. This is the most incredible walk I think I've ever been on. <laughs> Just look behind me. Let's see if you can. There you go. And Jake told me it's not even the best bit. I tried to get a drone out. He was like, no, hold it. Yeah, this is the best bit. I have a feeling walking back up these stairs is going to be a little tricky. <laughs> already started eating it, but I've got my little sandwich. It's got a beautiful skin. Not being dramatic guys, but I think this is one of the most spectacular places I've ever been. And certainly the most spectacular place I've ever successfully droned, I think. Really hoping that that footage that you've just seen was amazing and that you're blown away. Um, yeah, can't say enough good things about this place. Tell us some stats, Jake. How far have we gone? Uh, we've gone 12k. And in how long? Three and a half hours. There we go. We've burnt 1,200 calories. Impressive. Just having a mini break we're gonna have a couple of photos because this i would say is probably the most iconic view so we're not quite at the start but towards the start and then you do walk down there up there over over and then the other side of that is where we had our lunch um so yeah canny way but it is like look at the color of that water and then on the other side you got the same but obviously the wind's coming this way um, so super sheltered, chill bay there, and then crazy waves there. It's glorious. It's all fishing down there as well. Oh, I just want to jump in. It looks amazing. Hello, we've finished up our walk and we've come to the local beach, which is Misery Bay, um, which I actually, oh, which is Misery Beach. Sorry, got it wrong. Um, yeah, I actually mentioned that in my most recent video. Um, or is it my most recent? I don't know when this one's going up. But yeah, it won WA, or like best beach in the world? Best beach in Australia? Yes. At some point. <laughs> Let me show you it. Hello. Uh, 
um, so we've just finished up at Misery Beach, had a quick dip, kind of cooled off after our walk, washed the dirt off our feet basically, um, in the ocean which was lovely. Um, and we've just arrived at the Gap on the way back from um, Misery Beach and Bald Head to kind of the main town of Albany. Is it a town or a city babe? City of Albany. City of Albany. Um, which is, yeah, where we're staying. Um, so yeah, Jake, tell me what the Gap is. <laughs> okay. the rocks <laughs> it's just a bit frothy um but no it was absolutely mesmerizing so cool to see um yeah and then here we have the natural bridge which the clues in the name <laughs> so we went to the best chippy in wa got a takeaway and driven, it was a 20 minute drive, so we're hoping the fish and chips aren't too um, cold. But then we have walked to, walked to, sorry, driven to, where are we, Jake? Gull Rock. Gull Rock, I'm so bad with the names. For sunset, you know that we love a sunset. There's a little wreck there, so you can oh, wow. snorkel with the sharks. That's so cool. Wait, snorkel with the sharks? <laughs> No. Oh my god, this is going to be gorgeous. We've just driven over, so it's like a 40 45 minute drive. Um, and yeah, we're just quickly in the town just to see there's a few camping shops and stuff. Um, so we're just going to see we need an awning, and then we will be going to the beaches and obviously Elephant Rocks and stuff like that. <laughs> that was simply glorious it was amazing and um, very relaxing we just spent a couple of hours there maybe yeah two hours i think and now we are gonna go Apparently there's a place called The Dam, which is a, is it a brewery, do you know? Or is it just um, like a pub? It's just a restaurant, I think. I think it's a cidery place. Yeah. There's actually quite a lot of cider places around here. Yeah, it must be a good climate for it. So yeah, we're gonna go there, have a drink, have some lunch. Shaping up to be a bloody lovely day. Hey, we've arrived at The Dam and it is a vibe. We are at a winery now, so we've been to um, so we've been to the dam, had a bit of hummus, a little ginger beer, which was very nice, and then we've decided to come to one winery. The winery of choice is I don't know what it's called. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Maybe tell you what the winery is called in just one moment. It's called Forest Hill. The winery is called Forest Hill and we're going into the cellar door just here now. Done all right, haven't we, Jakey? <laughs> Hello, we've driven back from Denmark to Albany. We are going to Pickle Juice out for pizza at Sunset. An 
absolute must do is seeing Dog Rock. Look, it's a rock that looks like a dog. The question is, is it a dog that looks like a rock or a rock that looks like a dog? <laughs> and then from the other side, less like a dog. Oh, actually, no, that does look solidly like a Rottweiler. And it is a Rottweiler, isn't it? And then this one they looks... Call it a Rottweiler. Ah, oh, yes. This one looks like a little turtle. A little baby one. And then look, it just looks like a rock again. I love Albany. Hello, we are going camping. We've just um, stopped off at the uh, servo to get fuel, ice, and pies um, for lunch later. Um, and then we are gonna go pick up a few extra supplies and then we've packed up the car ready to go camping. We don't know if we're gonna do one night or two. We, Jake and I have never camped together before and we, neither of us have camped in a long time. Jake's done like festival camping. I've done like Duke of Edinburgh girl guide camping, like what, 15 years ago or something silly. So we've got enough stuff to serve us for two nights, but if we hate it and want to just come home after one then we're allowing ourselves that luxury um we will harden up to it like we've bought all of the kit it's just that yeah it's annoying as well because it's been really nice um the last couple of nights so we could have gone then but we weren't sure and then we left it till now oh my god the cutest car oh my god i love it um and then now it's like, it's 20 degrees, a bit cloudy, a um, bit windy. So it should still be absolutely beautiful. Don't get me wrong. And we're staying in like a little inlet kind of place, providing that we can get camp spots. But yeah, it's just not gonna be like 30 degrees overnight. It might be a bit chilly. That's the only concern. But yeah, Dave's just cleaning my windows. <laughs> what a good lad. Hello, we've arrived at Y Chinny Cup national park and the campsite that's here um managed to find a space there's not many and now we're just walking down to see what the kind of tent spots is like i should clarify from earlier i said that we've not been camping obviously we've done camp van trips but not the full tent business <laughs> um you know camping on a camp stove and stuff so just checking it out now spot there. Is that big enough for us? Yeah. Well, on this will be our view. <laughs> so this is a little inlet. Gorgeous. It's a bit windy, a bit chilly. It's pretty nice. That is going to be glorious for sunrise in the morning. Are we going to be up for sunrise babe? I would like to be. Um, what do you say? We'll have to be. <laughs> yeah, true. Neither of us have um, eye masks. But yeah, it rained on the way um, driving in and it was about 10 minutes on unsealed, very wobbly roads, which is questionable in our Mitsubishi ASX, but we managed it. Damn it, guys. The spot which we thought was a spot is not a spot. <sighs> you got to be in designated camping spots with like numbers on and that one wasn't and all of them are taken sadly which is annoying it's like midday um and it's all taken already so i'm hoping that's not a sign of things to come i'm gonna go find the next spot along <laughs> hello um option two was norman's beach i say was because there's also no spaces there's a total of five camping uh, sites as in like what am i saying designated spaces for camping but you know if you're wanting to camp in albany here's one to try it's actually really i was not expecting the clouds but you can see over there super cloudy um but yeah we're gonna make the most of it got my pasty um and we're gonna just have a look at here's what we could have won basically before we go try the next campsite Norman and Betty's beach. Very moody over there. I don't want to go that way. I want to go that way. 
So that's Betty's Beach over there. If we had binoculars, we'd be able to see if, you know, if there's space for us. All right, next up kids. Looks like we're literally parked in the ocean. Um, <laughs> this is East Bay Camp, I think. We're just gonna see what the go is here. Look at that old van next to us. Oh my God, this is incredible. Ah, oh, here's hoping. Success guys, we've got sorted. Um, and now we're just gonna go for a walk on the beach. It's so, so windy, bit, bit chilly. Is there so we've just been along that's called two people's bay and it's very amusingly named because we were the only people along there um and then we've come to we we think that car has driven you're not actually allowed to but we think that car's driven the whole way along the beach um then look there's a boat i really feel like it's not doing it justice for how blue the water is it's glorious and our campsite i think is there like the other side of this bay you can see the beach the whole way around and it's like squeaky white sand it is just stunning oh my goodness guys so we've got to the end of the beach scrambled over a couple of rocks and look we're in absolute paradise <laughs> this is insane oh my God. <laughs> this is ridiculous guys so i didn't bring my swimmies but i think we're just gonna have to well jake's got his trunks on I think I'm just going to have skinny dip because I can't not go in here. It's absolutely glorious. And I'll just work out drying off afterwards. And there's no chance anyone will see us. Oh my goodness. If you do the venture along Two People's Bay, cannot recommend enough. Bring swimmers and have a dip in here. It's super sheltered. The calm is so water. The water is so calm and it's quite shallow as well. It's, oh, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. And you're backed by all of these beautiful trees. Incredible. So to get through it, you do have to kind of paddle through a lot of this which is like seaweedy mulchy dirt and then you get to the end that looks like that we just climbed over and through there's a bit of a path or you could just jump straight in and swim i guess um but we've got a bit of walking stuff on so maybe if you do come here um yeah wear shorts <laughs> i didn't really realize that and you can bring a towel but i'm not that wet I'm not wet anymore, I'm dried off. Um, and yeah, bring swimmers, shorts, no shoes. Easy peasy. Or there is actually a car park here, but only with one car run. I find it a bit strange that no one seems to have known that it's here. So I wonder if it's badly signposted, but I would say it's bloody beautiful to do the walk. So I would recommend stay in our campsite do the walk around it's bloody lovely now i can't wait for a ginger beer in the sun afterwards if you did want to drive pause this and then find that on the interwebs because <laughs> that's where you'll need to like drive to or park to there are tracks along the you can see people have driven and then parked up there but i cannot comment on whether that is legal behavior or not all right, gang, it's time for Battle of the Jake and Cat to get the tent up. Um, and it's just started raining, which is perfect timing. I've heard that makes the most ideal conditions for tent building. Wish us luck.
Stover, Jake Biden, and so it's, well, set pretty much. guys I'm all cozy um hello guys I just wanted to tell you that I'm all snuggly and warm now <laughs> got my trackies on cream is not a good choice for camping but they're my new um comfy trackies I've got my nice hoodie on and my jacket and it's very warm in here so I'm actually gonna have to go out and cool down and have a glass of red wine I don't know why I said like that. We are... Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> um, we are up and Adam, we've had a coffee. Um, it's about quarter past nine now. Um, we originally woke up at half five for sunrise. Kind of looked out the window and it was not that impressive a sunrise and I we didn't sleep very well because it was a bit windy. Um, so yeah, we basically were just like, now we've had a coffee, had a bit of reading time. You're going to brave it, jump and say, I'm scared, I'm so cold. I don't even think that cold. <laughs> I'm scared about the warming up a bit afterwards. See you in there. How fresh was that, Jakey? It was very fresh, baby. Very a lot good. better, actually. Yeah. That's lovely. lovely very good droning um as if that wasn't enough faffing about already with the tent we've moved it again <laughs> the kind of next door neighbors have moved so we've moved our tent um hopefully slightly more out of the wind um and now we are making one of our favorite camp breakfasts which is <laughs> um leftover chili um that's not on by the way before you're like ooh, plastic melting um <laughs> and then we're gonna do some guac and some like cheesy scrambly egg things I think um, and that's our brunch all right we've got breakfast of champions leftover chili um, scrambly egg type thing More chili, babe. yeah if there is some um, and then guac which I've made in nature's bowl how good is that we're seeing a thingy in the water, guys. It's a ray. Hooray! What kind of ray is it, then? Eh? Oh. I don't think it was a man's or a thing, right? I thought it was a shark at first. So it had little bumps on its tail, but it was definitely spoon-shaped. Um, as you can see behind us, it's just started getting a bit rainy. We've got... So this is a 10k walk, um, 5k to there, 5k back, <laughs> and yeah. yeah, we've got headphones in because we're listening to a podcast together, <laughs> how cute are we? Here we are going, dinner of champs, we've got burgers, pot sal and pass sal, yum, and the weather is looking not, not too grand. But it's pretty cozy. Good morning, campers. Um, I don't have to be super quiet because it's quite early. I think it's like 7 a.m. Um, and we are up and packing up. Um, it's actually pretty rainy today, so we're not going to chill here for too long. And um, got to get back up to Albany. So we're packing up nice and early. Jack's going to make a quick coffee. But yeah, we had such a nice second evening of camping. Um, we started talking to the people in like the next camping spot along a lovely German couple um, and then we played Uno with them in the evening had a few wines um, and yeah it was just blooming lovely and then got back into bed 
watched some Shrek, which was great. And then, yeah, we slept okay. Um, not the most comfortable, but oh well. Um, and then, yeah, just packing up now. goodness me guys if you weren't sold on two people's bay already we've just seen a huge pod of dolphins maybe 10 or so um we're currently oh my god they're playing we're currently walking there's a massive rain cloud coming and they're like the other side of the bay oh they've been like swimming along here um thank god i went and walked like I just went and walked and looked at the view with my coffee and then was like, oh, ran back to the campsite, was like, dolphins, dolphins, dolphins. Grabbed my drone, got some mediocre drone footage. Oh my God, there's so many. <laughs> this is insane. Oh my God, I don't even think you'll be able to see. It's so annoying. No, you definitely can't. And there we have it, the cherry on the cake of an amazing five days in the southwest of Australia. Thank you so much for joining. Have a look down in the description box everywhere that we went and kind of the written itinerary for where we went will be written down there with links. If there was anywhere that you think we missed out on our trip, please let us know for next time we are down there. This definitely will not be the last time we are down in the southwest of Australia. We absolutely loved it. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned for my next one and I will see you then. Bye.